Known as the Fourth Estate, the news media provides a powerful voice to the witness of people, places, and events. Print and electronic media have served as important connections between newsmakers and the public. For an agriculture industry in Oregon that wants and needs to tell its story, a trusted reporter is as valuable as a well-timed rain. Mitch Lees of the Capitol Press has been a fair-minded friend of farmers and ranchers while maintaining high journalistic standards and credibility. Mitch is Salem born and raised, growing up in Oregon's capital city with his older brother and sister. While his mom and dad were raised on farms in North Dakota, Mitch's exposure to ag was confined to summer visits to relatives' wheat farms where he did gain some hands-on experience. But most of his boyhood was that of a typical youngster in the 1960s, attending McNary High School with a passion for running. He also took an interest in the school newspaper as editor. Mitch received a track scholarship at Spokane Community College, but blew out his knee. He transferred to the University of Oregon and, of course, its journalism school. At that point, a career in music was plan A. But after six years of what Mitch claims was bad pay and a tiresome lifestyle, it was time for plan B. Starting off as a freelancer in Salem and Portland, then a regional correspondent for the Statesman Journal, Mitch became full-time sports editor at the Canby Herald, winning a National Newspaper Association Writing Award for Best Sports Feature in 1988, a story about the local high school football coach. Mitch's first assignment in agricultural reporting was as a freelancer for the Capitol Press, covering an Oregon Sheep Commission meeting. Little did he know that assignment would eventually lead to a long tenure at the Ag Weekly newspaper. Not knowing anything about agriculture or sheep, he says, the story ended up on the front page above the fold. He's been writing about agriculture ever since, with the first big assignment as a full-time Capitol Press reporter covering the Oregon Department of Agriculture's Asian Gypsy Moth Spray Project in North Portland in 1992. Writing about 350 stories a year, Mitch has penned thousands of stories since joining the Capitol Press, covering Oregon issues of wide diversity. He has also written for nationally distributed agricultural trade magazines, winning several awards for his writing. As an interviewer, some of his questions can be downright shocking. ODA has found great value in taking Mitch along on key trade missions. Mitch reported from Europe with numerous stories filed from such places as Germany, the Netherlands, and England. His ability to convey the importance of Oregon Ag's export market has educated readers region-wide. Mitch was also a member of the delegation when ODA led a domestic trade mission to the Midwest, promoting the benefits of Oregon ryegrass to corn and soybean farmers. And most recently, Mitch was part of the governor's trade mission to Asia, with stops in Japan, South Korea, and China. Readers looked forward to each and every blog provided by Mitch and the prodigious number of stories he got from last fall's trade mission. His professionalism on the trip was valued, and so was his sense of humor. Married to Connie for the past eight plus years, Mitch still sidelights as a local musician. And anyone who has heard him perform will tell you plan A would have worked out just fine but Oregon agriculture is glad he stuck with plan B, even if some people question his choice of teams and colors. You can't pick up a Capitol Press without reading the fair, accurate, and entertaining stories of Mitch Lees. We honor Mitch tonight for excellence in journalism. For excellence in journalism, Mitch Lees. Well, uh, thank you very much to the Department of Ag. Uh, a great job on that video, Bruce, as usual. He really does a good job with those. I think we ought to give Bruce a hand, actually, for that <laughs> great video. So I had two thoughts when I was thinking, I, when I asked Bruce, am I going to have to give a speech? And he goes, yes. So uh, I thought about it briefly. And I do have two thoughts. One was that really this award is as much about the Capitol Press as it is about me and, you know, and their dedication, basically, to the news. You know, I mean, a lot of publications, given the constraints that journalism is under these days, um, you know, are kind of backing off on their commitment to news. Capital Press is not, and appreciate that. 
And uh, let's see, what was the second part here? Oh, yeah, let's see here. What was that second part? Uh, oh, yeah, the second part was, you know, I, I didn't set out to be an ag reporter. I just set out to cover journal. I was a mainstream journalism journalist for quite a while. And, and I, I couldn't be happier that kind of fate has steered me into this direction because uh, the issues are compelling and you folks are great to work, work with. So thank you very much.